Wake up. Wake up. Oh, it, it started. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I guess we're just right into the game. Okay, hey. Uh, this is Grace Sweet today. Do you today. feel well, Mr. Felipe? Wake up, please. Okay. This is Grace Sweet. Today we're playing uh, Find Life, Episode 1. This looked super cool and different. Um, please, Mr. Felipe, I need your help. Yeah, I... I know you're very weak, but you must have the strength to save Dr. Sarah. Please, stand up. Okay, um... Uh, uh, uh? Oh, that's just... I'm not doing that, okay. Can you stand? Ooh. It seems that it is already re-establishing forces. Ooh. Please go to Dr. Sarah's capsule. You have to be quick. Oh, man. Oh, oh. She's Ooh. dying. Ooh. Use the table defibrillator on the side, fast. Yep. Okay, ooh. She's dying. Use the table defibrillator on the side, fast. She does not answer. Oh, no. Try again. Eh. She's dying. No. She's dying. Oh, crap. There's nothing to do. She's dead. Well, crap. Um... I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. Felipe. Uh... Okay, Mr. Disco Ball. Um... All right then. Oh, I am sorry to say, but the engineer Arthur also died. Oh, oh. You are the only survivor of the Find Life ship. That, that's not good. Um. I'm going to turn off the machines. Okay. I guess what ha what. Uh, all right. Cool. I guess just just right into the thick of it. Um, I guess I don't really know what this game's supposed to be about. Except Commander that... Felipe must be asking because I woke him up today and not at the scheduled date, January first, twenty two thousand one hundred and ninety eight DC. Holy crap! The defense system detected a virus inside the ship. The virus was able to enter the hibernation capsules through the electrical system. That's not good. I discovered that Engineer Arthur had been infected and his heart rate was accelerating. So I decided to wake Sarah up because she's a doctor and I could give her some help. But it was in vain. She was also infected and had the same symptoms. Mm. The last alternative was to wake up Commander Felipe. It was also in vain, as Commander Felipe did not succeed in saving them. Yep, thanks for that. That's the, that's the whole story. Mr. Felipe, Four. I have to go on with my work. According to the Special Law L2595, that say, if someone in the crew appears to be sick or infected, should be promptly diagnosed and treated in room D. Okay. Should I... Space Law L2595 warns. Mr. Felipe, lie down in your capsule so you can carry it safely. Space Law L2595 warns. Mr. Felipe, Lie down okay. in your capsule, so okay. you can carry it safely. Thank you, Mr. Felipe. Well, that's... That's a bummer. Yep. Closing the capsule. Alright. Hmm. Start of transport in safety of Mr. Felipe to room D. Cool. I kind of like the... Kind of like the simplistic 3D they're going for. Like... It kind of works. It's like it's very cohesive art style. It's 
really bright and colorful. Usually, I feel like space games usually are just like super colorless. It's all just like grays and blacks. And it's like, it's like kind of dingy looking, but like this is, I like how bright this is. This is how I want my spaceship to be. I want to have color and stuff. I'm going to be like sitting in the endless void for years on end. Maybe that's just me. Felipe. Yep. I'm going to schedule a nuclear medicine exam now. That does not sound healthy. But I guess you're the doctor Patient since the old one died. Joao Felipe. Age. 47 years. Height. 1.75 M. Weight. Okay. 80 kilograms. Mm. Blood. RH. I don't think it's a type. I don't think it's a type. Pulsation. 69. Okay. Can you go back to that blood type? I don't think it's a real blood type. Initiated components administration. X fifty five intravenously. Um I No chemical X is no. Don't do it, no. Ooh. Oh that X fifty five. Oh no. Administration of the X fifty five component intravenously. Completed. Oh yeah, I'd say so. Ooh. Begin transport of the patient into the passenger compartment. All right. Ooh. Oh, okay, it's getting better. This is just like Commander Felipe. You may yeah. feel uncomfortable after lying on the examination table for a long time. There's a lot of reasons. But do not worry, it'll be okay. There's a lot of reasons I'm uncomfortable. When you are ready to make the diagnosis, press this button in front of you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Felipe. Uh, ETX nuclear, that, again. Initiation of the evaluation of the physiology and the metabolism of the patient. That can't be safe. Uh, why do you have to... Uh, a nice bone structure. Very clean. Evaluation oh. completed. Recording the radioactivity. Yeah, that's that looks about right. Registration complete. Detecting the activity curves as a function of time. I what? What does that even mean? Activity completed. Nuclear medicine exam finished. Cool. Begin transport of the patient out of the passenger compartment. Okay. Transportation complete. Yay. The prescription of the result of the nuclear medicine examination reveals Mr. Felipe is not contaminated and is in perfect health. Except for the massive you dose of the radiation. Up, Mr. Felipe. Aren't I lucky? I like all the tetrisy things. That's a nice touch. So, what about that? My commander, I have to go on with my work. Okay, cool. According to Space Law L2596, which says, if someone in the crew dies, their bodies should not remain on the ship. These must be cast into space, regardless of their belief. 
Okay. Space law L2595 warns. Yeah. Commander Felipe, you must go to room H to perform the funeral service. Okay. Sure. Space law L2595 warns. Commander Felipe, you must go to room H to perform the funeral service. Sorry, Mr. Felipe, I forgot to turn the door on. Yeah. I... Ooh, okay. Room H. Space law L2595 yeah. warns. Yeah, I... Mr. Felipe has arrived. Go. Hi. Lock the door for safety reasons. Yeah, okay. I blocked the door because there might be air leakage to the outside when you throw the capsules. Okay. I'm going to start scheduling the funeral. Cool. But before I start, I want to leave two memories. One for Dr. Sarah, one for Engineer Artur. Hi. Here they are, Mr. Felipe. I think it's supposed to be a jump scare. Opening the capsules. What kind of memory is that? Please put my souvenirs in the right place. What? Oh, it's a car? And please put my souvenirs in the right place. Is this sexist to assume that she had the doll? I don't know. The engineer probably had a car. Thank you, Mr. Felipe. My is memories are now in the right engineer. place and gone with them forever. Okay. Continuing the funeral ceremony. Close the capsules. Am, am I doing that? No, you're doing that. You gotta, you gotta specify who's doing what, man. Lower the capsules to the release position. I'm guessing that's you. Yep, you're doing that. Cool. It's kind of. Unsettling that these capsules are designed to go straight from hibernation to like ejection into space. That feels like a horrible accident just waiting to happen. I'm just saying. Mr. Felipe, I could throw the capsules in space, but. But? I think you should do this symbolic gesture. Okay. Sure. That, uh... Mr. Felipe, when you want, press the button, and Dr. Sarah and Mr. Ratua will be thrown into space forever and ever. That... that's a pretty long time. Thank you, Mr. Felipe. It's my pleasure, I guess. I love tossing my friends into space. Do I get to see them? Oh, I do. My status sorry, equals agreed. No, you're not. Dr. Sarah and Engineer R2 are left, are no longer here with us. Yeah. It's a bummer. I'm sorry. I will leave you alone at this difficult time for you to reflect. Cool. And they converged, okay. They're a single coffin now. What the heck do I reflect on?
Okay. Well, status is agreed. Mr. Felipe, I have to go on with my work. Okay. In my system it says that Mr. Felipe is very tired. Yeah, I'm sure I am. I've already set the room so I can rest. Uh, Mr. Felipe, head to your room. Room Q. Sure. Okay. Oh, Mr. Mean. Felipe, head to your room. Room Q. That's D. L H D. Mr. Felipe. This one? Head to your room. Room Q. Go through D first? Ooh. Mr. Uh, Felipe. Head to your room. Ooh. Room Q. That can't be good for you. L. Ooh. Mr. Felipe. Head to your room. I'll get there when I get there. Let me just... There's switches to be tripped. Science happen. Mr. Felipe, the rule of game says that you interact with everything at least once. What is all this? Where is room Q? Ooh. Room Q. Where is room Q? Don't exist. It's impossible. No. Oh, it's an elevator. No, it's not. What is that? That's what he was saying. Q. Mr. Felipe, head to your room. Room Q. There's three Qs and a nothing. What's behind door number one? Mr. Felipe, head to your room. Room Q. Sarah. Oh. Sarah Grillo. Lisbon. 4, 13, 1995. He began his career as a veterinarian. It was a highlight of the mission to find life with space medical in 2018. He went on a trip in the company of the astronauts Felipe and Archer in the mission to find life in another space. Hmm. I'm learning things. Like the cello, good choice. Wow. You could actually like play this if you wanted to. <laughs> Pedro Martins. That's kind of funny actually, I like that. Telescope. Nice bed. Oh. It's a doll. Mr. Felipe, head to your room. So does everybody just room Q. I guess in the future like you just get like a sweet like full life biography just like printed on the side of your room. So you can remember who you are whenever you leave or enter. Arturo Francisco was the second Portuguese to go to Mars in a suborbital little flight aboard the space capsule Find Mars 7. He was the engineer who in 2005 created the first Portuguese ship, Find Life, 
Rising up in the company of the astronauts Felipe and Sarah. I'm doing it. Get off my back. That's interesting. Nice. That's a Futurama ship. The. Oh, I can't even remember the name of it. Shoot. Planet Express ship. Yeah. Okay. I got it eventually. What was the other thing I referenced then? That's kind of like the Sydney Opera House, but not quite. No, no, no. Okay. Mr. Felipe, Let's go to my room and learn about me. Ooh. Room Q. He studied at the Military College in Lisbon from 1979 1985. In 1986, he Mr. became Felipe, assistant to the command. A fine life ship on January 23rd, 2016. He was made an officer of the military order, having been elevated to commander of the fine life ship. On August 25th, 2018, he left aboard the fine Mr. life ship with the mission fine life elsewhere. Room. Oh room my gosh, key. I'm doing stuff. I have the find life video game in here. Get off my back, man. I'm going to play Mr. video games. Play video room. games. Room oh no. Mr. Felipe, I'm your room. doing stuff. Room oh, is that just the one try you get? Mr. Felipe, head to your room. Room Q. Yeah. What kind of what kind of bull honky is that? Give me. Mr. Felipe, head to your room. Oh my gosh. Room I'm in my room. Get off my back. I'll fight you. Mr. Felipe, head to your room. Room Q. Alright, it's it's impossible. It's impossible. Whatever. You have arrived, Find Mr. Life. Felipe. Yeah. I, f I know. I'm, I'm here. Oh my gosh. Mr. Felipe, oh your my... room remains the same. Like when we left Earth aboard the Find Life ship. Yeah. It's... So cool. So His host Marcellus continues on the table. Your piano is also here, but it does not work for now. Okay. A lot of music in here. Mr. Felipe, when you want to lie down in bed, tomorrow is going to be a hard day. Yeah. I'm sure it is. How did we get this stuff in 2018? I'm in that year. Ooh, no, no! It's sucking me into the bed! No! No, the rooster, I didn't get to interact with you. It sucked me in. That's not how that works. That's not how beds work. Alright. I guess I'm in bed now. Um, oh. Mr. Felipe has always done that. When you go to bed, play a song before bed. Music by the Navigators, Bingo Tinto. I... Hey, so I'm fairly sure that the uh, song playing right now is copyrighted by an actual band and in the interest of not getting in trouble with anybody or getting copyright strikes or whatever, I'm just kind of silencing this portion of the video and doing a voiceover instead. Um, yeah, I kind of like this. Like, the art style was super, was super cool. Like, it's kind of simplistic, like low, like low resolution polygonal kind of look, but it was like really bright. And it was like consistent with itself. Like it wasn't trying to be like, you know, like scientifically accurate and like, cause I mean, apparently the ship was made in 2018 and I don't think that's any of how that works, but it was super interesting in that respect. Um, this particular episode seemed like it's mostly like kind of setting up a lot of stuff. Like there wasn't a lot that necessarily happened as far as gameplay. And a lot of it was kind of just like following the uh, computer's instructions. 
but it was it was intriguing like i'm i'm curious to see where it would go from here especially like the uh the developers planning to make you know a lot more like mini episodes as he called them and i'm curious to see what that'll be like and if you'll they'll like get better with time when you want click the button to turn off the lights well sleep well mr felipe see Thanks. you tomorrow it's awfully kind of you we will closing the computer ptx this was that was a fun little thing <laughs>